Bismatis, uh, and certainly you guys know the one and only Mike Mizak. Mike, nice to see you here. We've got a big show tonight, and you're going to go ahead and get us started. Yeah, it is a massive show because I think the most important thing that we have is we have restocked for tonight from clearly we had a airing at 2 p.m. Uh, uh, for tonight, I have restocked for this airing for this hour. I have restocked the NGC Perfect Min State 70 American Silver Eagles. <clears throat> we had sold these out about, I think it was two or three weeks ago, something like that, completely sold out. And then we were able to restock, not as many as we did the very first time, but we were able to get them back. The uh, American Silver Eagles, 2024 American Silver Eagles, certified absolutely positively perfect Min State 70. As you can see, we've already sold 2,000 of the individual coins that you're looking here, over 2,000 of the individual coins. This is, that accounts for about three airings, actually. Because what we have done is taken the most popularly collected silver coin in the world today, the American Silver Eagle. We've had it certified by independent third-party company NGC. They have certified it absolutely positively perfect. And I've got the best price that I've ever been able to do at HS. And I was doing this thing where I was uh, uh, the last airing. It was like, you know, the best price in 10 years, or was it 12 years, or was it 15 years? I went back as far as there is any record, any place that I have, and it is the lowest price I've ever had for an NGC American uh, uh, Silver Eagle certified Min State 70 that we've ever done. The only other NGC certified Min State 70 American Silver Eagles that we have are $109. Now, they're specialty labels, and so that matters. But for still, it is still NGC. It's certified perfect, and we've got it only $69.95, even though silver has been exploding, premiums have been exploding. Uh, I'm concerned that this this is the last time that I'll be able to run this at this price. Uh, we aired it at 2 p.m. and I think sold almost a thousand coins at 2 p.m. between the 20 count, which we're going to have here in just a little bit, and the individual coins. So this is an absolutely unique opportunity. Marlo, yes. good to see you. And the same here. Same here. And of course, we're inviting you to come on in. I, I know that uh, Mike perhaps um, has already invited you in. I do want to explain to everybody about 30 days that you have, the flex pay that you have using any major credit card or debit card. Um, that was a big show at 2 p.m. Yeah. Middle of the day from Monday. Yeah, it was right in the middle of the day. It's like, okay, I don't normally do this show, but uh, I mean, that's great. And everybody's going, yeah, I want the Kennedy sets. I don't think I have any more of those. Eisenhower sets, I think I have a few more of those that we have. But that's what people are doing. Coins are hot. Nice. Gold is hot. Gold's at an all-time high. Yes. Silver, while it's 60% below its all-time high, I don't understand why, has started moving up. I guess going to try to maybe try to catch gold. Gold hit all-time highs, I think, Friday. I think uh, went again into that all-time high uh, uh, thing. And silver, 60% below its all-time high. I don't get it. So, so ultimately what we have here, here's what it really comes down to. The American Silver Eagle is a special coin. It's a special collectible. Uh, President Ronald Reagan uh, signed the original law into, uh, 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 the original act into law in 1985 that created the American Silver Eagle, creating the most popularly collected silver coin in the world today. And it has been so since 1986 when in first year of manufacture up through today. <clears throat> One of the interesting things that people don't realize is that the um, United States Mint does not sell mint state or regular uncirculated silver eagles directly to the United States public. They only sell them through a series of what are called authorized purchasers. They're called APs, if you will. And these APs, there's only 12 of them in the world. There's only 12 of them in the world. They are the only place you can get mint sealed boxes of American silver eagles. Obviously, we have got pretty significant relationships with, with those uh, APs. This is how they come from the United States Mint. Now, this box is empty, okay, uh, uh, or would weigh 44 pounds. And so you have this as United States Mint. It's sealed with the United States Mint tape, and it's not retaped, as you can see back here. So this is how it goes into the grading company. 
And so then we have send those boxes to the grading company and then the coins that are min state 70, absolutely perfect because we grade on a 70 point scale in numismatics. When we grade on a 70 point scale, those coins that come out of these boxes that are perfect are ultrasonically sealed into these holders and are guaranteed for weight, content, purity, and authenticity in perpetuity. So that's what we've got. That's what your opportunity is right here. And like I said, I'm pretty sure we probably just blew through 2,000 of these sold. And I've only been selling them for about six or seven weeks that we've been able to do at this pricing. I've sold hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of thousands of uh, American Silver Eagles, NGC, Mint State 70, certified absolutely positively perfect. And so I've sold those for years and years, and we've sold hundreds and hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of thousands. But with this particular deal right here, I've never sold them at $69.95. That's the amazing part. And, and I misspoke a little bit when I said it's the lowest price that we've ever done here at HSN, which is 100% true for single coins. Okay, you can actually buy these for $5 a coin less if you wait and watch our next item, which is a 20 count, which is the way everybody's buying them. Literally, I mean, hundreds and hundreds and thousands and thousands of coins going out. Because when you have this opportunity, with silver and gold exploding out there, but I have the lowest price I've ever had on the most desirable collector coin made by the United States Mint in certified perfect condition. And I have it at the lowest price I've done in years. Everybody wants to stack them and stack them high. And you can, you know how you can do it? Yeah. Flex pay. Uh, flex pay, right. Yeah, because you can buy as many as you like and that flex pay you can use as often as you'd like. Mm. So if you say, you know what, I really love this, I'm gonna get a Perfect graded coin, Mint State 70, that's perfect. I'd like to maybe have three of these, four of these, get one, you know. Right. Use that flex pay repeatedly. That's the way to do it. Grab it while you can. Uh, 871307 is the item number. I'm following you, Mike. What do we have next? Same thing, times 20. Woo, I like it. Now, because here's what we do with that, is with the times 20 here, you save $5 more a coin. So when I said, like I said, that's the lowest price I've ever done, that's the lowest price I've ever done for, oops, uh, that's the lowest price I've ever done for an individual coin. Now this one we are, we're offering, as, as you can see, obviously considerable different price. So sure. we, we do offer, of them. yeah, we, we, we offer the flex pay. Yeah. So you can pay for it over three months. And in addition to the flex pay that you can use with any major credit card or debit card or PayPal, you can use your HSN card. And that will give you 18 months to pay for it if you have that HSN card. That's $72 and change. And if you're saying, Marlo, I don't have that HSN card, but I want this set, apply for it. Most people that apply for that card are instantly approved, so don't be shy about applying for it. Because that's $72 and change, yeah. and this is on its way to, to and those, and we hold the interest. Um, on that. It's interest deferred. Yeah. So if you paid off in 18 months, there's zero interest. Yes. So those are the things that HSN does that makes this easier to buy than any place. First of all, now I have the lowest price, you know, including mass quantities, of the lowest price at $65. Now you get a free NGC box for if there's 20 of these. This is a big deal. These are hard to get there, 20 bucks all day long uh, to be able to get that specialized box from NGC that holds those 20 coins that you have right there. But now, so here's what we do. People say, okay, I want to buy 20 American perfect Silver Eagle certified NGC Mint State 70. I want to use my credit card. They say that's fine. How about a 5% uh, convenience fee? I, I hate these convenience fees. They're used all the time. I don't know who they're convenient for. It's not you, I promise you. So that adds almost $100 uh, uh, to the cost. And then they say, well, I want to use a, a credit card, uh, your uh, credit card, and I want to do that and not pay any interest for a year and a half. I want to pay it off $72 a month. And they say, well, we, we can't do that. So just if you use any old credit card that you've paid 5% extra to use, and now the interest on that is going to run you at 40% at minimum, at minimum right now, or more than that. So now you add, basically, you're adding $600, $700 to the cost cost right. of this. So now you're adding 60 or 70 percent uh, of what this entire cost is. So there's no additional cost. You can make your monthly payments. You get the coins. Understand it's not layaway. You get the coins. You get the no convenience fee. You get reduced shipping and handling. You get all of those things. And so we make it easy for you to stack your American Silver Eagles is ultimately what it comes down to. So let's start with the fact that you get a pound and a quarter of pure silver here.
And then let's go into the fact that the American Silver Eagle, the most popularly collected silver coin in the, in the world today, the most a desirable way to collect that is going to be in a certified mint state 70 perfect condition. Because in coin collecting, as in any collecting, the single most important determining factor of value is what? It's condition. The higher the grade, the more it's worth. Let me give you an example. So in, in the year 2000, I was here selling, selling coins in the year 2000, and I sold 2,000 United States Silver Eagle Certified Mint State 70 for about, I think it was probably 79 or $89. Now keep in mind, silver was $2 an ounce then, okay? And they were still $79. So this box would have been 1,500 bucks. Today, that NGC Min State 70 box of 2,000 American Silver Eagles, this box right here, is going to run you at minimum $30,000, $1,500 a coin, $1,500. What's the difference? Because if I had 2,000 American Silver Eagles that were uncertified and ungraded, you know how much those would be? $69.95. Same as they are today. The difference is grade. The difference is certification. The higher the grade, the more they're worth. Now, I started today, I think, with the 125 or 135 of the boxes at 2 p.m., just 2 p.m. this afternoon, the kind of a minute, minute, middle of the afternoon. I have 74. I have 74 of the 20 count boxes left. That's it. I have 74, uh, now 73 of the two 20 count boxes because this is the way you want want to stack your silver. So you get that perfection. You get that desirability. Now understand from a collectible standpoint, from a collectible standpoint, everything that you want in mint state 70 is, is what collectors desire. The higher the grade, the more they're worth. And so now you have absolute perfection. Because in coin collecting, for whatever reason, we grade on a 70-point scale. It's not a 100-point scale, because there's no um, min state 71 or 70.1. So this is absolutely perfect. And perfection is what you strive for, you know, not only in life, but in your collection. They say, buy the highest grade that you can afford. Well, this is the highest grade in existence. And I think that's really, really, really important for you to understand that what you have here is so you have the perfection, so you have the highest collector value, you have the highest collector desirability, and you've got it at a price that is by far and away the lowest priced NGC Perfect American Silver Eagle of any year that I have ever sold here at HSN. And when you put all of those things together, is it any wonder we've sold thousands and thousands? I probably have a counter of how many of I've, I've sold of these in the last eight weeks uh, since we've been selling them. And it's, a, it's absolutely a stupefying number when you realize you're certifying these 20 at, at a time, buying them uh, certified 20 at a time. So for instance, I get these boxes through the authorized purchasers. You can't buy them directly from the United States Mint. We buy these boxes sealed, and then we send them to NGC, and then they open them up. On a good day, on a very good day, this box of 500 coins is going to yield me about 200 coins that are going to be absolutely perfect. On a bad day, on a bad day, I'm going to get 50 Oh. out of this whole box. box. So for me to get 20 of these, so I need a whole box for two of these. Now remember I just told you we had 75 boxes left. Well now we're down to 60 something. Okay, so now all of a sudden that's 200 coins. All of a sudden that's five boxes. All of a sudden that's 2,500 coins. Before you know it, I'm moving these boxes around with a forklift and I'm paying with bank wires because I just bought a million dollars worth of silver so that we can sell these here on HSN. Now here's the secondary problem with this. For me to be able to do this at the lowest price I've ever done it, there had to be a confluence of a lot of events. First things first, silver has been drifting lower. While well, gold goes towards all-time highs, silver is 60% off its all-time high. As I, as I often say here, there's a lot of mysteries in the world. You know, Area 51, uh, those big stone things on Easter Island. And as Suzanne Runyon, our good friend Suzanne, says, why Annie, my wife, married me? <laughs> uh, they're all mysteries to all people in the world. Add that uh, mysteries to me is the price of silver today, given that gold's at an all-time high. Because if silver was just at its all-time high, 
I'd have to be 149, 159, 169 dollars on these coins. Just the silver in these coins would be pretty much 65 bucks. Understand? Particularly adjusted for inflation, it would be more than that. And so silver is unnaturally low. We took advantage of that. Secondly, as I said, the United States Mint does not sell these directly to the United States public. They sell them to the APs, the authorized purchasers. Well, the APs, so the Mint marks these up beyond the price of silver. That's called a premium. And then the APs mark them up when they sell them to me or anybody else uh, of their authorized dealers. That's also part of the premium. So those two things together are the premium. Here's the problem. The premiums for the last five, six, seven years have been extremely strong. For some reason, over the last six weeks or so, eight weeks or so, premiums have cratered. 60, 70 percent drops from where they've been for years and years and years now. I don't know why, but we jumped on it. We took advantage of it. And that premium can be massive. That premium could add $15 a coin to this deal uh, uh, with that. So that saved $15. The price of silver saved all the money. Everything else, you add all that up, and that's how I get to $65. There's only 66 of these left now. And so when you do that and you have all of those things, you have a window of opportunity. And that window is rapidly closing, folks. That window is rapidly closing. Already in the last week, silver's up almost 10%. All right? Even though I held the price. The premiums are up about 15%, give or take. About 15% increase in the price of the premiums. And those premiums already, I'm, I see them starting to march higher and higher and higher and higher. So if silver doesn't move a penny up, and the premiums go to where they were last year at this time, then all of a sudden on this same coin, I'm going to be $80 for the box. I'm going to be $1,600 basically for the same exact deal uh, on these because I'm going to have to be $80 a coin times 20. Okay, the individual coin is going to be $84.95. So that's just if the premiums go. Well, we've seen both of those. Now, what if happens if silver goes to where it was last year and premiums are where they were last year? This box right here is going to be $2,000. Wow. Okay, let's say silver goes to its all-time high. This box, all of a sudden, is $3,000 that I'm going to have to charge for that. So understand what your opportunity is here, and that opportunity, that window of opportunity, is closing. And I think it's closing rapidly, if you ask me. Uh, so we were able to get this. So the first time I had these, the first go-round of these uh, uh, NGC Perfect Certified American Silver Eagles, the first go-round of these that I had, I think we had five or 6,000 coins. Those sold out. I didn't have them for the last show. Those were completely and totally gone. I was able to restock for this show, but at about half the quantity I had for the original, uh, in the original batch. And given where silver is going, where premiums are going, this could absolutely, this could well be the very last time that I can do these at $65. Now, I'm doing everything I can to try to lock in additional quantity. But at the end of the day, I've got five dozen of the 20 counts left. I've got five dozen of the 20 counts left. That's all I've got. And then, of course, that's going to be done until at least April, maybe even May before I can restock these. Uh, uh, and, and, and even if I can restock them, I can restock them because the United States government makes silver eagles all year long, but it becomes a price issue. It becomes an opportunity issue. It gives you the opportunity to stack these. Here's the one thing I can tell you. They're not going to be less money. Okay, I don't know 100% if there'll be more money, although that's my guess, but I can 100% guarantee you they're not going to be less money, okay? That's, that's the one thing I can know, you know, given all the, all the information I have in the marketplace. And here's the other thing, that you do have the opportunity today to grab the, what, six dozen or so that remain on that flex pay. Oh, or with that VIP financing. That VIP financing, I think, is massive. Because you've got 18 months to pay for it. 
and and seventy two dollars and change, and that's right. where most people are going. And I will tell you, we're going to give you the information to apply for it. Do it because most people are approved instantly. So don't be shy about doing that. You'll most people are instantly approved, and so I think that's fantastic. But, uh, yeah, let me walk you through that again from a coin standpoint. So here's what it comes: seventy two dollars a month for eighteen mm -hmm. months. So normally, if you'd buy coins like this, okay, first of all, you have to find a deal, and I don't know where you're going to find a deal like this, but let's say you can find our price at $1,299 for a box of 20 with the NGC box. Let's say you can do that. 62 is all that now remain, five dozen. So let's say you can find that deal. I want to use a credit card. Okay, I want to use a credit card for that. It's a 5% convenience fee. All of a sudden, you've added almost $100 to the price, the $65, all right? Okay, now I want to not pay any interest for 18 months. And if you pay it off for, in 18 months, pay that $72 yeah. a month, you pay zero in interest. Yes. Okay? Normally, then, anywhere else, if they do let you use a credit card, it's going to be about $600 in interest, give or take, on top of that. So now you're 650 now you're closer to $2,000. Assuming you can find the deal, but you're 2000 bucks into it, where here at HSN, you're still $1,299.95 into it. You've had the coins the whole time, by the way. As you can see, we're now down under five dozen of these. And that's what happens. These really start to accelerate. These really need to pick up right now as people understand the opportunity that they have in that window of opportunity that is 100% closing. Please understand that. So here's what we've got. You've got the NGC. You've got the box of 20. You've got them interest-free for 18 months. You've got all that opportunity. But the thing is, is now you have to have everything else cooperate as well. You have to have the price of silver cooperate. Yes. And you have to understand, we have been, in, not just us, but the world has been in silver deficit for three years now. It means that we use more silver than is mined or refined everywhere in the world. So in other words, it has to come out of existing supplies because they're not getting enough new silver. And so that has created the silver deficit, which means that the United States government, when they release these coins, so they sell them directly to the authorized purchasers, and the authorized purchaser says, I want 100,000 coins. The men said, well, that's adorable, but we're going to give you 20,000 coins. And by the way, we're going to skip next week. As a matter of fact, we're going to skip every other week. These are on allocation right now. So in other words, even the APs, even I can't get all the coins that I want. And that's what starts pushing premiums when you get that, when there's a shortage in the marketplace, yes. supply and demand, obviously. So you have this silver, overall silver shortage. I was talking to a friend of mine. He's been in the business as long as I have. He's been professionally trading gold and silver for 30 years. I said, uh, so what, uh, what do you like? And he said, uh, uh, silver. And I like silver eagles. I like them a lot. He says, that's what I'm buying for my own portfolio. For my own portfolio, that's what he's buying. I own lots of silver eagles. And I own a lot of certified American silver eagles. That's one of the big things I put away. So if I had a complete set of just regular American silver eagles that I would sell you right now, all the years By of the, the way, American oh, silver eagle. Only well, 50 remain. Well, yeah, only 50, so we're down four. And yeah. count everybody that's De on the phone. Definitely at this moment, if you'd like to buy this, I would definitely take advantage of it. We're going to go a little longer. As you can see, people are reacting if you want yours. I mentioned that VIP financing. I'm going to get that number to you uh, because... Okay, so here's your number because that's 7222. <laughs> yeah, to be able to get that 18 months of VIP financing that's where we can have that we can hold the hold the interest zero percent interest on that it's less than seventy three dollars can we put the number up there guys so that everybody at home if they want that VIP financing can go ahead and apply for that really quickly because because these these are these will all go right. so there's your information you can go to our website or you can take that take note of that toll-free number but you do need to do it now that gives you 18 months that's one option that's really the best option or if you've got a credit card at home and you want to just do the three months of the 433 32 you can do that as well but that's a great deal as well obviously you got to do it now and people ask me from a collectible standpoint like what's the bottom line where's the rubber meet the road here and that is very simply the fact that there's not enough silver to go around and well let's make it easy if i had a complete set of american silver eagles 1986 to date Okay, just a regular, complete set of American Silver Eagles. How much is a, am I going to be able to sell that to you for? That's going to be about 3000 bucks, give or take. 
But if I had that same set in Mint State 70 Perfect from NGC instead of 3000 it's going to be closer to $100,000. What's the difference? The certification of absolute perfection. Understand, if you go back to 1986, the difference is $200 or $2,000. In 1996, okay, just go to 1996, the difference is $200 or $5,000 for a single Mint State 70, 1990. Is, is $5,000. Even in the year 2000, just go to the year 2000, we're looking at you know $150 to $1,500. What's the difference? The difference is great. The higher the grade, the more it's worth. So not only do you get the American Silver Eagle, but you get it independently, third party, certified to be absolutely positively perfect. You get the 20 count box at no additional cost. Understand there are tons and tons and tons of scams out there in the world for numismatic products. I buy them all week long, knowing their scams, try to protect you, and see what the scam du jour is. This one's pretty simple. The Mint sends these boxes to the APs. The APs send them to me. I send them to NGC, and then, I, and then NGC sends them back to me. I send them right to you. Basically an unbroken chain of provenance from the United States Mint right to your house for perfect American Silver Eagles at the lowest price I have ever done here at HSN. Understand, I've been here for 25 years. I've been here for 25 years. I, when I was started here, silver was $2 per ounce. Gold was $300 yes. per ounce, okay? So understand what your opportunity is. Understand 35 our left, by the way. Our, I mean, I'm sorry? 35. We're down Remain. to under three dozen. That doesn't yeah. count everybody on no. the phone. So when I ended at 2 p.m., I had, you know, we'd sold like 20. Well, we ended up at 35 this afternoon. Wow. Okay? Yeah. So with all the people on the phone, that would, do, that would do, if I could do that quick math in my head, I'm pretty good at that. That leaves less than a dozen a dozen of the 20 count sets that are unaccounted for as we speak right now. Right, we're gonna keep you updated. We actually gonna go to, oh, already it's already changed. If you'd like to have it, please don't wait. I will say this to you, I can't even keep count. Um, you can use that FlexPay option that you're seeing reflected with any major credit card, debit card or PayPal or less than $73, 18 months VIP financing. Stack your way. silver and stack it high. Here you go. And do it with a coin that's in perfect condition. Right. <laughs> that, that's the way to go. Wait, okay, let's talk about when to watch. Love our coin shows? Sign up for when to watch. That way you don't miss any of Mike's shows. It's the perfect shopping experience by signing up with our, for our when to watch emails. Be the first to know exactly when your favorite brands will be live and on air and all you have to do is simply go to HSN and go to your account, update your communication preferences, and select your favorite brands. There are over 350 to choose from, so certainly do it now. We're going to take a quick break. We're going to come back with more coins. Believe it or not, we're just warming up. Wait until you see what's <laughs> coming up. It's a great show, so don't move a muscle. We'll be back after this. It's time to open the windows, renew the outdoors, and spruce up your indoor space with our spring home and garden spruce up. Join us for 48 hours of spring-inspired bliss. From cleaning essentials to storage and organizational must-haves, stunning decor ideas, and more, we've got everything you need to welcome spring in style. Start Saturday at midnight. Hi everybody, it's Denise Austin, and I've been helping millions of people stay in great shape for over 40 years. Helping women aspire to be healthy, active, and vital has always been a passion of mine. I am so excited to be part of the HSN family. You know why? I get to inspire you. We are gonna get fit together. Join fitness expert Denise Austin to live ever better. Because you are worth it. Get the best deals on the things you love with the HSN card. As an HSN card VIP, you'll get all kinds of perks, like VIP financing on so many items, plus extra flex on every item under $369, all day, every day, and at least eight VIP savings events a year. Includes fraud protection, and there's no annual fee. Apply now and instantly get $10 off when you're approved. Call 1-800-695-1418 or visit hsn.com slash hsncard. Oh, gosh, we're... 
was saying to Mike, uh, my producer today is Rick, and, and Rick was like, yeah, there are only 18 left. And <laughs> Mike just looked at me and smiled, and he, he was like, yeah, Marla, well, well, I, I know. And I was like. They're going to sell out. Yeah, I, he's like, well, I, yeah. I, I told you that before the show. <laughs> yeah, you, yeah. He's like, yeah, the, those I mean, are. You guys know what you're doing. I mean, yeah. you know what I'm saying? I mean, I'm here to kind of guide your journey, but you're all pretty experienced hikers, as it were. <laughs> okay, so you understand. Okay, I get it. GC, Men's State 70, Perfect American Silver Eagles at 65. Like, I get that. You know what? I mean, I know you're talking and talking and talking, but I know what I'm doing. <laughs> I'm calling. <laughs> All right, well, congratulations to you. We're going to keep you updated, but you definitely want to get your orders in. Uh, I'm Marlo, by the way, Marlo Smith. It's nice to have you here. And Mike Mizek is happens to be a resident numismatist and coin expert. Let's talk next about the Silver Kennedys and our 10 coin yeah. half dollar roll. This is pretty quick, you, and it's funny, we usually kind of have this one of the last items, and so, you know, we're scheduled for seven or eight minutes or something like that, and end up for two or three. And so people say, Can, I mean, come on, let's, let's tell me the whole deal here. So um, it's continuing with that kind of silver theme, the fact that silver is in short supply, the fact that silver is unnaturally low from a price standpoint, all of those things. Uh, please understand, so that's what this comes out of. Because uh, ultimately, the, the Kennedy half to of course, were it not for the tragic assassination of John F. Kennedy, we'd still be spending Franklin half dollars. Let's face it. That's just the out and out truth of it. So when the Kennedy half dollar was first produced, 1964, through 1970, there were silver in there was silver in Kennedy half dollars. And it was the last silver coins ever made by the United States Mint were Kennedy half dollars. And so these are those original Kennedy half dollars. These are all from the 1960s. So pre-1970, Kennedy half dollars, the last of the silver Kennedys. So the, first to start off, uh, to start with, every one of these coins is over 50 years old. So every one of these coins is over 50 years old. They are, and here's the key, and here's the key to the value. They are over, every single one of them over 50, and they're original, brilliant, uncirculated. They are original, brilliant, uncirculated. So traditionally, when I first started selling these, we just sold, and everybody kind of has these Kennedy half dollars laying around. At some point, people, you know, in time, what do I have here, Mike? I go, not much, not much. Well, you got some silver Kennedys, all right? But they're, but they're worn, they're, you know, circulated, they're used. These are not. These are original, brilliant, uncirculated silver Kennedy half dollars from 50 years ago. So when I originally started buying these, I would buy them just for the pure silver, would sell them for the silver. And then we continued on with that. Uh, uh, we, we continued on with that for all of these years. And I'm just doing this for the sound. I mean, there's just nothing like the sound of silver coins. You know what I'm saying? They just, boom, they sound like a bell. That's why bells all have silver in them. And so what happens is, is I would just sell the silver part of these. Okay, the fact that if you take these, there's not, not that copper, that telltale copper line that's right there uh, uh, in, in these coins. So they have the silver. But then what happened is, is I started being able to buy these if I was careful with these, where I could buy them, pay silver price, but get brilliant uncirculated coins. Now I have to be highly selective, okay? So you have to understand that coin is well over 50 years old and it is stunning. It's original, it's brilliant uncirculated. Every coin in here is stunning, original, and brilliant uncirculated. Please understand that. And so that's what you're getting with these coins is that brilliant uncirculated. And what difference does that make? Well, I'm $129.95 for 10 coins. I'm $129.95 for 10 coins. If you go to a nationally advertised catalog, the one I tend to use around here, their brilliant uncirculated Kennedy half dollars, these coins right here are $26.50 a piece because they then add in the numismatic value. So you saw, saw right there, basically we've sold 3,000 yeah, of these. Yeah, I saw that. You know, <clears throat> in the last little bit. That's, understand, 3,000, so that's, if you take times 20, 60,000 coins. That's 60,000 
original, brilliant, uncirculated Kennedy half dollars. And not at $265, which is the silver and numismatic value, but at $129.95, which is the silver value. So you're buying these at the silver value and getting that additional over double numismatic value at no additional cost or charge. Now here's the problem with that. As I said, I found if I'm very careful, I can buy these in brilliant uncirculated at silver pricing. But understand, it's not an unlimited number of these. There's not an unlimited number of these that I can do at that, uh, at that pricing so that I can do the brilliant uncirculated and the silver at $129.95 for 10. By the way, this is the way they're going to come to you, just like this. You get this spiffy little roll that they come this. in. Yeah, isn't that nice? Yeah. Just like that. Boom, you're going to get those. By the way, the ones that I'm clanking together and doing all this, you know, we don't ship those out. This is the same, same set that we've yeah, used yeah, here for yeah, a long yeah. time. You can see I've already beat some of them up pretty yeah. good. Yours will be individually curated and ha handled with care uh, with our what we call our white glove service. All of my uh, people that handle coins yes. all have to wear white gloves. We go through, I mean, mountains of white cotton gloves. Yeah, all right. Uh, we, we're going to wrap our presentation up here. Please continue to call. We showed you how many people have already placed your orders. This is a flex pay offer, meaning if you choose to, you don't have to. But if you choose to, mm -hmm. if you'd like to, you certainly are more than welcome to spread those payments out over the next three months. Just remember, whatever you use flex pay, we ship it to you right away. And you still, of course, we still hold the interest there. Okay. <laughs> now you want to be able to buy like a coin dealer. Right. That's how you do it. Wow. And this is on sale. Right. Whoa. Big the save. on that, Marlo. Yeah, I know. Big time. You save 200 bucks. Nice. Saving $200 for 42 years, less than $25 per set, less than $25 per set to be able to get those. It is absolutely stunning. Love it. It's the first time I've had that in a while. I had some 50 years. Now, if remember, the 50 years were like $300 more money, okay? I've got all of these absolutely stunning. We have very, very limited, just restocked one time, one time And that's available that. for the uh, the uh, HSN VIP, yeah. so I just want to mention um, that to you. All right, let's now get into this next set, uh, which is going to be very exciting, and I can't wait for you to kind of tell us a little bit more about this. Well, I've got it on sale, too, which is nice. So this is, this is the last regular clad silver, it's, I want to call it a silver dollar, but I can't technically do it because they're not silver, okay? The, to really say if it's a silver dollar, there really has to be silver in it, yes. okay? So it is a, a United States, the Susan B. Anthony dollar. So it first was made in 1979, came out in 79, 80, and 81. The United States government really wants us to use a dollar coin instead of a dollar bill. A dollar bill lasts 18 months, a dollar coin can last 40 years, 50 years, 100 years. Well, Americans were having none of it. First of all, it was about the size of a quarter, so it couldn't have been more confusing. So the government gave up after 1981 that you see right here. So in three years, the short-lived United States set, they made Philadelphia Mint, Denver, they even tried making San Francisco uncirculated coins to get everybody into it. They tried it. hard. That didn't work. So then they made San Francisco proof coins and that didn't help. So they said, okay, we're done. Uh, we'll, we'll just move on, sorry. Uh, uh, and so that, that was the end of the Susan B. Anthony. Well, in, 20, in the year 2000, they want to start the Sacagawea Golden Dollar. And so what they did is they said, well, let's make it a different color, then it won't be so confusing, and we can have the small round dollar. But to complete the legislation, they had to make one last year of the Susan B. Anthony. They made a 1999 S, uh, Philadelphia Mint, Denver Mint, and actually that's a Philadelphia Minted proof right there. So the entire collection of Susan B. Anthony's is actually 15 coins that you're going to have right here, the 15 coins. Now, as you can see, this beautiful box that I have had an extra hole. And as nature abhors a vacuum, so do I. And so I put a colorized Susan B. Anthony dollar in there so that we wouldn't have, so that we wouldn't have that. I just couldn't, I just could not countenance that in any way, shape, or form. By the way, that's $27 value right there. So coin by coin by coin, we are looking at $400 value for these Susan B. Anthony dollars. And the reason basically are these guys right here. 
Because you see a, a 1999 Susan B. Philadelphia Mint and Denver Mint, those aren't in the Mint sets. And this 1999 proof Susan B. Anthony, it wasn't in the proof set because proof sets are made at San Francisco and this was made at Philadelphia. So these coins were basically only made for one year and sold at kind of the US Mint gift shops was the only way to get them. They had their own individual little packages. They are the hardest modern issue coins to find. So I have a nationally advertised catalog. That's the breakdown. This coin right here, $98.95 for that coin right there. And by the way, these two right up here, $33 a piece. So you can pay for these three coins what I'm charging for the oh. entire yeah. set. Now understand, it's not like these are four bucks a piece. These coins are $20 a piece. These coins are $15 and then this one's $20. These coins are $15 and that's $25. That's $27 and then take the entire thing and put it in a steel case presentation box that you have right here, and now you really begin to understand what your opportunity is for this. That what you have is every single Susan B. Anthony dollar made by the United States Mint, both Philadelphia Mint, Denver Mint, all the uncirculated and the proof coins, including the unknown year. So many will say a complete Susan B. set that's 79, 80, and 81. They don't want to include the 99s because they can't find them. And the fact that that's as much as I'm charging for the whole set just for the last three coins. Now, I have not sold this. This might be the first time this year that I've sold this. If not, it's the second time this year. And the reason is, of course, these three coins over here, those 1999 Susan B. Anthony's that you just can't find. You just don't see them anywhere. And then when you have values, you know, coin by coin values at $400, that doesn't even take into account the 16, uh, uh, the 16 airtight holders that you're going to have right here that are going to be, you know, that's 10 bucks right there. Steel case uh, presentation holder, $29.95. You got 40 bucks or so worth of packaging. Add everything in at brilliant uncirculated and brilliant proof. But the key to this is always simple. One call gets them all. So in other words, I have to find each one of these individually. I have to, these come as a pair. So I find these individually, I have to find these, and I gotta find rolls of this and rolls of this, probably open up mint sets so that I can get the S mints right here. The last, as you can see, the last S minted uh, uncirculated coins right. made by the United States government are gonna be right there. They don't, S mint coins, they don't make S mint coins anymore and release them into circulation. They're only available in proof sets. I'm gonna get in there for a moment because we only have a couple of seconds remaining. Um, I wanna remind everybody about Susan B. Anthony and who she was. Remember, oh, yeah. uh, women's rights pioneer whose work led to the 19th Amendment to the Constitution that assures women the right to vote. That's important. Uh, <laughs> yeah. I think that's important. And big customer pick. Oh, by the way, very first woman to ever appear on an American coin. That's why you want it. Mm -hmm. That's one you want in your safety deposit box. That's why it's a customer pick. And by the by, on sale. <laughs> right. Oh yeah, I didn't even see that. Yeah, 20 bucks off. You want that. Yeah. That's big time. Right, I love it. That's big time to have that. All right, oh. if you're lucky to get that if you can, don't wait. Are we going to the wall? <laughs> We're going to the wall. Oh, it's at that time? I don't know if you're going to- Hang on just a second, I gotta get my cheat sheet. All right, you get your cheat sheet, I'm going to the wall. You're looking at 42 years of coins, history. How about uh, this, uh, Marlo, here. My cheat sheet oh, is just about as big as the wall. It is indeed. Okay, that's my cheat sheet. That's, wow. that's every coin listed individually right Look there. Look at that. As you can see, 291 total coins right there, and I will go over that. My. Every, isn't that fantastic? I hope you guys that's are ready. every single one of them individually <laughs> listed right. uh, that you have right there. So when I said I need a cheat sheet, I bet yeah. I really, I mean, I got a pretty good memory. But I mean, you know, I, I need the cheat sheet for that one. Yeah, Sorry. this is going to be a great one. So on sale, I do want to call out that this is being offered on our VIP finance. And when we speak about VIP financing, that is when you're using your HSN card or your Q card. If you currently have the card, you're by all means 18 months VIP financing. If you don't have the HSN card, go ahead and apply for it on our website or by giving us a call our toll free 800 number, and that'll take your payments too. You ready? for this? $55 and change. I know. 
$55. Zero interest if you're paying it is, off in just full. Crazy. Zero interest. <laughs> now, here's the thing. I, so I run a, you know, I have a big coin business and we do yeah, all this yeah. stuff and all this other things. And the thing that strikes me out of all this, in all honesty, is the shipping and handling for $9.95 on this. <laughs> I mean, seriously. I, I mean, you know, it comes in a big, massive box, and you get 30-day money back guarantee yeah, you do. as well. So you let's do. talk. Let's talk about that. That's all the easy peasy stuff about <laughs> this. And here's what's happened. And I'm going to tell you exactly what's going to happen here. You're going to sit back, and you're going to listen to me babble for uh, the better part of 15 minutes or so here, probably. You're going to wait. But don't wait too long. I understand it's a lot of stuff. So By I have the way, some they things didn't to get wait, over just so that you know, yeah. 363 uh, 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 people have already All right, all right, all right. Okay, so, but, but people wait. They kind of wait towards the end. I get it. It's a lot of stuff. It's a lot of information to digest, but don't wait too long. Because as I get towards the end of this presentation, by the time you see a clock down there, and you will at yeah. some point, when you see that clock, by then, you're already getting close to it being too late. So here's what you get to do. You get to buy like a coin dealer. And why do I say that? Because what happens is, is the vast majority of the coins in these collections are not sold in sets. They are sold individually. And they're sold individually because you can sell the individual coins for far more money than you can sell the sets. And so that's why, look, I've been here for 25 years. In every show that's possible, I try to have a proof set thing. I used to have it almost every show. Now it's every other show, every third show. You know, at the beginning of the year, I've been working on them for a whole year. I might have them for two or three shows in a row. They are so much more difficult to get today than they were five years ago, or particularly 10 years ago, or 15 years ago, or even, you know, when, when this ended was about 15 years ago in 2009. I understand that entire thing has changed. And here's what I mean by that why you get to buy like a coin dealer. So we have from 1968, so this is the first year of the San Francisco making United States government issue proof sets. They still make them till today. From 1968 to 2009. And I picked those because that's the first year of the San Francisco, and that's the last year of the state and territorial quarters, 2009. So there's kind of a, a, a known beginning and a, and, a, and a known end. Coin by coin. You're paying $999.95. If you read that upper left-hand number from the cheat sheet. Uh, $3,110. That's the coin-by-coin -coin value, over $3,100. Over $3,100. Yeah. That's why you don't see them like this, because coin dealers can break them up and sell them individually. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to scoot over there towards Marlowe. I'm going to go in front of this set. Now, remember, there's 42 sets, but this isn't four sets. That's just the 2009 set. Those four all together, so you're paying less than $25 a set, so that costs you less than $25. Let's start here, the pennies. That's the 100th anniversary of the Lincoln cents over there. $15.50 per coin. $62 right there. Right next door to that, you have all of the, uh, uh, all the presidential dollars. Those are $7.75 a piece. Then you have all the territorial quarters there. Those are all $8.50 a piece. Then you go over here. The Kennedy half dollar is $41. The Sacagawea golden dollar is $26.95. All told, $223.75. $223, you pay 25 bucks. Let's go to the 2008 set right here. This is the one that always gets me. So first of all, you start off with the presidential dollars. And those have consistently, constantly gone up to where the point is they're $12.75 a piece. That's 50 bucks. And then here's the one that gets me. These are the most expensive of all the state quarters. 20 bucks, 20 bucks, 20 bucks, 20 bucks, 25 bucks over $100 for the state quarters. And then, you look at that Kennedy half dollar, $52.95, $32.95. Uh, the penny is, uh, what do you got the penny? They're $17.75, $277. So, the last two sets are over $500. You pay $999, so you're paying less than $500 for the other 40 sets. 
So you're paying $12.5 a set for every single one of the 42 other sets that are all sold out limited editions. Look, if you want to buy this year's set from the United States Mint, it's going to cost you, I think this year, with shipping and handling, it's going to be 40 bucks. This year's set. Last year's set's already $60 to 2023. 2022's are already $100. Okay, you look at 20, what is it, 2020s? That's a $200 set. You get 42 sold out limited edition sets. The first 42 sets from the San Francisco Mint for $25 a set. Less than you can buy today's set for. Well, almost half of what you can buy today's set for. The only one offered by the United States Mint. But you can get 42 sold out limited edition sets for less than $25. All in the original government packaging, all with the original government boxes. And so people say, so who buys the sets individually? Well, if you're a Kennedy half dollar collector, here's the thing you need to remember. Proof is not a condition. Proof is a method of manufacturing. The coins are made differently. And since 1968, not a single solitary one of these coins was ever made, intended, or released into circulation. You can only get it out of a proof set. So if you collect Kennedy half dollars and you want a 1995 San Francisco minted Kennedy half dollar, there's one place to get one out of this set right here. And you're going to buy or have to buy one of those sets and smash it open with a hammer to get that coin out or find somebody who will do it. And dealers will do that because they can sell that 1995 coin for $40.50 and they pay 25 bucks for the set. Anybody can do that math. Just the Kennedy half dollars alone in this set are $9 hundred dollars just for the Kennedy half dollars. I can sell those all day long. The first 40 years of Kennedy half dollars from the San Francisco Mint, I can sell those all day long. I can sell as many of those as we wanted. I could sell as many of those as sets I wanted to smash open. The first 40 years of Lincoln cents, the first 42 years of Lincoln cents, how about $430 for the pennies? The quarters at $661. The dollar coins at $600. The dimes for $300. The nickels for $300. You put all of those in, you know, but you get all of those. We talk about the Eisenhower dollars. They're all up there. How about the, remember the Susan B. Yes, Anthony's yes, we were just talking about? Yes. How did I get those for that set? So we yes. just sold, I don't know, what did we sell, 100 of those sets? Yes. 200? 200 sets. So I had to take 200 of these sets and smash them open with a hammer. Take 200 of these sets, smash them open with a hammer. Take 200 of these sets, smash them open with a hammer. It's the only way to get those coins. Earlier, I had Eisenhower silver dollar sets. We sold, I think, 50 or 60 of those. I have them coming up here in just a minute. Every one of those sets that I sold, so I sold 60. I have to smash open 60 of these, 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 and 60 of these. So that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So that's 400, uh, 600, 800. So 1,000 sets of these I destroyed today. My company opened up 1,000. So this literally became 1,000 sets rarer today. Just what I sold here. That doesn't account. So for every single solitary complete set that's sold out there in the marketplace, proof sets have to be open. Here at HSN, proof state quarter sets, we sold 50,000 sets here. Here, we opened up over a half a million, over a half a million state quarter proof sets just for what I sold here at HSN by, you know, 2009. Uh, my company has literally opened up a million, over a million United States government issued proof sets. I know these are rare every single solitary day. I know they're harder to buy every single solitary day. That's the way it works. Yet you're buying it and locking in the fact that you get every single solitary one of them, all in the original government packaging, all with the original government lenses, everything 100% original, everything 100% original. I want to show you this, Marlon. I'm going to do this. Hopefully not do that. So I'm going to hand that to you. Now, here's the one thing. That's cardboard. Yes. That's from 1968. Yep. 
understand now uh, the ones we send out there like this sometimes they have a little bit little bit of wear on them because it's cardboard from 1968 do the math that's 60 year old cardboard folks those are all wait, wait, original wait. that's not 60 yeah. no that's 55 <laughs> and the reason why i know that oh, okay. because that's the year i was that's born okay. <laughs> don't you get me there faster than i I'm need adding, to go uh, i'm adding faster <laughs> yeah you should know that because i'm older i'm at the fall, i'm at the other end and i'm at the <laughs> left end of that and so at 55 year old cardboard yeah. It looks pretty that good. That looks I pretty think. good. It and looks I love pretty that good. You include that though. And we include all the and and that comes with this also. Wow. I don't know if it's in here or not. I don't know if the, yeah there yeah. All the original government certificates of authenticity. Wow. Okay, so here's all the information what it contains. You know how how the coins are made, how many of the coins, so, you know the designers and everything. That's in every single solitary that's box and set that you have as that. well too. Yeah. Well, that's the other thing. So when I buy a set, just because I buy a set doesn't mean it's a set I can use. The penny might be tarnished. Okay. The case might be cracked. The box may be torn apart. All of those things. So I have to find all those. I got to meet all that criteria before I can put that all together for you and sell it for $2,000 less than I can sell it for coin by coin. Okay? Over $2,000 discount on a coin by, from a coin by coin basis. Over $3,100. Over $3,100 coin by coin. Yet you get them in the original government packaging. So here's what we're doing. Okay, there comes the clock that you're going to see that we're going to have right there. Now starts the exodus of sets, if you will. Now understand what happens with this is this. I don't call the 42 year of proof set guy and say send me 100 sets of each. I buy 60 of these and 20 of those and 40 of those and 60 of those and 40 of those are bad because that calling tarnish is really bad right there. I got a problem here, I got a problem here, I got a problem here like this one. For instance, I would not ship one of these out. See the crack? Okay, you didn't even notice that. I just did as I looked at it. So it's okay for a sample up here, but I would never send that out. See the crack in the case that's right there? So now this one I can break open and use in the Kennedy half dollar set. So when I get these sets, and you know what I'm saying, you know, there's problems with them. Right. Only the best sets are kept for this. The coins that aren't very good, because then we have to smash them open. Sure. So then I can sell silver eagle sets, or I, I can sell uh, 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 silver dollar sets, I can sell Kennedy sets, I can so, like Sacagawea, first 10 years of, of uh, Sacagawea proof silver dollars. I've sold thousands and thousands and thousands of those sets here. And the way I do it is, is the only place to get them is to bust them open literally one at a time. Same with the Lincoln cents. Uh, everybody collects Lincoln cents. Everybody is going to collect the Kennedy half dollars. The Kennedy half dollars alone are basically $999.95. You have to understand what your opportunity is here. This is the first time. This is the first time I've sold this this year. Might be. Might be the first time I've oh, sold wow. this deal this year. Now, I have what I hope, what I hope is enough quantity for about two, uh, for two airings. I think I had 250 of these, give or take, to start. 250 of these because I've been building them for several months. For several months, I've been building these sets up. And so I'm probably down to about 150 sets or so left. And now as the exodus begins, you see the clock. Now people really start calling in. Now people say, I really want to start buying like a coin dealer. Understand, all these coins are proof. It's, and remember, proof's not a condition. These coins are not just made, uh, uh, they're just not in better condition. They're made differently. They're struck multiple times at higher pressures. And then they're put into these ultrasonically sealed holders, which, by the way, are the original United States Mint holder that you're going to have here. And as we start to cycle down, as we start to do the countdown on these, understand the United States Mint stopped making, well, they stopped making these in 2009. They stopped making these in 1968. They stopped making those, you know what I'm saying? Understand right. 68, 69, and 70, those are silver Kennedy half dollars. Those sets right up there. That's so cool. now all of a sudden, you know, those sets are, you know, uh, $50 a set right up there just for those. And there's not that big of a set. Yes. So there's 250. So the, the first five and the last two are 750 bucks. But then you're going to have the entire set of United States proof state quarters that are going to be in there. That's 400, 500, 600 dollars by itself. All the proof Kennedys, all the proof Eisenhowers, all the proof Susan B. Anthony's, the first 42 years of proof 
proof Lincolns. All of that together, first three years of, of proof um, presidential dollars, the first 10 years of proof Sacagawea golden dollars, all of those things put together add up, add up to the collectability of this. And then you save $2,000 off the coin by coin price. You are literally paying $25 per set. You're literally paying 25, well, actually less than $25 per set to get 42 sold out limited edition United States government issue proof sets. It is a monster deal. It's a monster opportunity. It's one I can only bring a limited number of times for the year because these sets are difficult to get. And then once you buy them, those go away for a right. year or five years or 10 years or 20 years, they disappear. And understand as these sets are destroyed every single solitary day without exception, without exception, this set gets rarer every single solitary day. There's very few collectibles, I can absolutely 100% guarantee, get rarer by the day, but this is one of those sets because they destroy these, I destroy these, coin dealers destroy these every single, I would estimate five to 10,000 of these sets are destroyed every single day. You literally, it's the only way to get the coins out of them, you have to smash it open with a hammer. Wow. All right. Here's what you need to know, that VIP financing Ooh. could be the way to go. Um, because you'll have 18 months to pay for this. And you did notice that this was on sale. So you're looking at around $55 uh, with that VIP financing. And remember, we actually hold the interest. That means zero interest with that VIP financing. Um, certainly limited quantities here. I think initially we had a little over 200. I'm sure there's far less at this point, but last call. You'll wanna be able to come on in and grab this one um, in an opportunity that you will see far and few and in between. Oh, I, I was able to add. Ah. So I had called back to the office before we started the okay. show. Okay, all right. We worked super, super hard, and I said, can we add 